In this video, I wanted to give you just a brief tour of RM Shell 5 and the interface and how to access all of the different settings menus. So when you first power up any thin client that's using RM Shell 5, this is the screen you are going to see. So this is the RM Shell 5 home screen. So you can see a couple of different things right off the start. Uh, on the left hand side in these green boxes, we'll have any of our already created profiles or connections to a host PC or a server. And then under this Applications tab, you'll see a couple different icons. Uh, this rectangular box is the About tab. And so that'll bring up information on the system, which software versions you're running, which license keys are installed, and things of that nature. We have a System Tools icon that if we click on that, that'll pop up a couple different things, like a clean lock for locking out a touchscreen or mouse or keyboard input temporarily while you wipe down the machine. Uh, network adapter information, um, a network lookup tool, and also a network ping tool to see if you have a valid connection. And the last thing we see here is a wedge uh, for setting up a barcode scanner. On the top of the system, we have four small little icons. We have a power button. We have an on-screen keyboard button to pop open the Windows on-screen keyboard. Uh, on the far left here, we have something that acts sort of like Alt-Tab. If you have multiple windows or sessions open, um, you can see those and navigate to them very easily. And then this little icon that looks like a person is actually how we access the different user groups within RM Shell. So operator, engineer, and administrator. So operator is the normal mode um, during operation that basically locks you out from any type of settings menus um, and doesn't give you the ability to create or delete anything. And then we have the engineer and administrator, which are password protected user groups that give you access to additional features and settings. So we'll go ahead and access the administrator profile right now. So once you log in, you'll see at the top of the screen, it'll tell you that you're logged in as the administrator. And then you're gonna see a couple different icons that pop up as well under the applications header. Uh, most notably would be profiles management. And this will give you the ability to go ahead and create those different types of profiles. So a remote desktop connection to a server, a VNC, um, an Emerson DRDC profile, or one of our restricted web browsers. There's also an application manager, which gives you the ability to add small little applications to the RM Shell home screen as well. Something simple like adding a, a button for the calculator application or something of that nature or a touchscreen calibration tool. We also have the system settings menu, where you can go ahead and access all of the system settings within RM Shell and Windows. Um, so things like entering the computer's name, or if you wanna set up license information or previous screensaver, if you need to configure your displays, or if you need to configure your network, all of that stuff can be done through the system settings menu. And so that's just a very, very short, quick tour of RM Shell 5 and what you can do with that particular software. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for our next video and have a great day.